That's really cool. Yeah. So that is a volcano with the crater inside. No, yeah. this one is not volcano, Misha. Is it not? It looks no. like it. What is that then? It's like like the viewing in Tagaytay. Uh -huh. Wow, that is so cool looking. Just at the port, and we're slowly going to make our way across to here. Looks really cool. Can't wait. Paradise. Tip box only. Okay, mm -hmm. and we are under by the tourism ordinance, boat ride 2000. Two ways going back. Okay. Registration is 500, so it's 2500. Tour guide 500, and a tourist fee 100 each. Landing fee is 50 pesos per boat. This is a docking fee. And horseback riding, 500 each, with a whole group guide fee of 500 because one horse, one guide. Mm -hmm. And then I need to pay for him, isn't it? So that's 2,500, yeah? This yes. is for the boat and our registration. Yes, yeah. sure. And you have to add 250 for the two environmental fee and a docking fee. Have we got that? This is a ticket mm. there. Okay. 250. How oh, about tour guide? Do you want tour guide? No, we're okay. Mom, please. Uh, okay, let me count. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Sign on, on the doctor okay. line just here. Hello there travel lovers. Today we're going to Tau Volcano. Just waiting to jump on the boat and head over there. Oh, that's, that's a drop. Oh dear. I'll grab the camera, Misha. So high. Uh-huh. Look at all these kids. So you'll come back for us, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah okay. Wanna move my feet? Volcano, we have Starbucks. Hello there, travel lovers. Hi, so today is an adventure day. We just left Tagate to travel up to the Tal Volcano. We've already had an adventure to get here already. We've jumped on a tricycle from Tagate City that was about 20 kilometers. It dropped us off at a port, jumped on a boat. I think it was about a 20 minute boat journey, wasn't it? Yeah. Once you arrive here, you have two choices. You can either get on a horse or you can walk. Uh, the walk is either on your own or with a guide. Uh, we've opted just to do it all on our own. Everyone is kind of pressuring us to ride a horse, but we feel very strongly against that. Honestly, looking at the horses, they don't look in the best shape. Um, so yeah, we're just doing it from our ethical standpoint. The trail is going to allow us to see a volcano, a crater and a lake. We've heard many good things about it. Did you say it was the second most active volcano yes. in the Philippines? Yes, with 33 uh, eruptions mm -hmm. over the years. So uh, hopefully it doesn't erupt today. <laughs> uh, we just want to get there in one piece, see the beautiful view and then come back again safely. We're currently here and we need to walk somewhere close to the crater where there's a lake inside. This is the path we're walking up. Okay, slowly and steady. The path uh, is really bad though, guys. Yeah. Just be warned, yeah. Wear sensible shoes, always. Absolutely, no flip-flops, no flip-flops. Look at that sock and shoe combo. Are they your dad's socks? Just stopping for a water break. That water was 100 pesos. Normally, it would be about 16. So yeah, I would recommend just bring a bottle of water with you, big bottle. Oh, look at the views. That's so cool. Nice to see other people walking as well. Justina's just thought of a genius plan. 
of using an umbrella to hide from the heat. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Nearly flying away like Mary Poppins then. Whoa. <laughs> but that's a good idea for sure. That will do, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I, I would say we're three quarters of the way up now. Yeah, we don't have that much left. Fun fact guys, I actually hiked Everest Base Camp in 2012 when I was in my younger years, maybe a bit fitter. Um, but yeah, this hike is actually at the moment harder than my first day hiking Everest Base Camp, purely because of the heat. You know, when you've got the heat and you can't breathe, that's what makes it hard work. Okay, last push. All the way up this hill. <laughs> Look at Justina, bless her. <laughs> Justina's battle. <laughs> All right, we're very close now, guys. Justina's <laughs> chilling up there. You're right. Not far now. Not far, no. Five minutes. Yeah. But the worst five minutes, hey? Yeah. The terrain is just so rocky and dusty and windy. So yeah, this bit is very hard. Ready to go? I think so. What else is there to do? <laughs> Let's just go. Tell me Justina, it's worth it. I can see it. It's beautiful. Is it? from down here, Tagate City, just there. So we've come all the way up. Hi, Justina. Hi. What's the views like from up there? Really nice, better than from below. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I'm coming up. Hey guys, I think it's time for our first red horse once we've been back in the Philippines. Yeah, maybe. What a great place to have red horse, right? With such an amazing view, look at that. <laughs> guys, is it true that if you find a horse that's smiling, it's double the strength? Because it's already really strong anyway. It's like 6.9 in this small can. So yeah, that would be deadly. This one is not smiling though. <laughs> <laughs> but we're smiling. <laughs> we're smiling, yeah. There's so many people that say they cannot drink red horse. I know. They say they just cannot. And they comment on our videos, oh my god, red horse, can you handle it? Yeah. <laughs> guys, we love our beer. Yeah, 6.9 is not too bad. And plus guys, Justina's a Lithuanian, and Lithuanians know how to drink. Especially vodka. Do you remember the night you gave me tequila, Justina? Yeah. I was sick, wasn't I? You were sick, Oh, yeah. that was I horrible. I love tequila. Tequila is probably my favorite spirit. So guys, what you're looking at is a crater on the island. Inside the crater is a lake called Crater Lake, and there's even a little island inside of that. Oh my god. And this out here is also a lake. So we're on an island in the middle of a lake with a lake inside the island with another island inside. That is... Inception. <laughs> that was a mouthful, wasn't it? I hope that you can hear me, guys. It's quite windy here. But my first impression is that it's pretty quiet once you climb up the top. And right now we're on this platform. Nobody's here, just me and Misha, so it's pretty cool. We can just chill take pictures, footage for our videos. Really, really nice. So we're not flying the drone? We decided not to fly the drone because it's way too windy, guys. It's not but worth it, is it? It's not worth it, but that's okay. We can still see pretty good views from here. <laughs> We're so so sandy. Oh my god, I cannot wait to get a shower. Yeah, yeah. incredibly dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it was worth it? Yeah, it absolutely yeah. was worth it. It was such a unique experience. We were in the middle of the lake on a volcano island, and that island had a lake inside 
with another small island and it's an active volcano as yeah well. like you just don't come across those things every day so absolutely a unique yeah. experience worth every single penny yeah we highly recommend it that is the total amount that we've spent guys um, we're just wondering to see where the money is going we really hope that it's going towards like improvements the residents yeah. making it all nice and better and hopefully they're gonna stop using the horses one day because it's definitely not a difficult hike we can definitely do it yeah if we did it you can do it too exactly we're not against riding horses all together like the daily use but yeah. to use horses and animals for mass tourism it's kind of not right so we hope that with the money they get to improve things exactly so we're gonna end it here guys thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it make sure you like it share it with your friends and as always cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom. Woo!